Hello, and welcome to a very special birthday edition of Mad Facts with Pat. Today, we're going to find out where do birthday cakes come from? Or at least, where could they have come from? Well, where do we see the earliest birthdays or special days honoring someone's birth in the ancient Mediterranean and Near East? Well, if we look into the historical record, that'd be, that will be somewhere between 2800 and 3000 BCE. We see the first reference to the celebration of a birth. Now, in this case, it's not an actual birth. We're talking about ancient Egypt. And this would be when kings, pharaohs, were given their pharaonic installation, when they become a living god as the king and dynastic ruler of ancient Egypt. This birthday would be symbolic as a birth as a deity, rather than the regular old birthday. Now, moving forward a couple thousand years, we find ourselves in ancient Greece. Now, the ancient Greeks dedicated a variety of offerings to gods and goddesses that they worshipped. One such type of offering was baked goods. And what we see is that in one particular case, one that has a lot of anthropologists, archaeologists, historians wondering if this might have been the genesis or added to the development of birthday cakes, was in the veneration of the goddess Artemis. Artemis was a goddess of the wilderness, of hunting. Um, she was associated with young women and the rites and transitions into adulthood. But one thing we see in the cultic veneration of Artemis is the possibility that cakes were shaped in the, in, as a moon, so in a crescent shape, and that candles were placed on the tops of the cakes, particularly in celebrations that occurred in the evening, to manifest the glowing nature of the moon itself, more venerating the moon as a dedicatory object to be offered to the goddess rather than a personal celebratory item. But this is one of the earliest instances where we see candles being put on top of food items, nominally cakes and other baked goods. Now in the time period from ancient Greece, let's just say 500 BCE, through about 1500 AD or CE, we have very little information on exactly what birthdays and the status of birthday cakes were other than the celebration of birthdays seem to be limited to the rich and famous, the powerful movers of society, and that they seem to be, those traditions are somewhat sporadic. Um, in some cases, um, it appears that birthdays were um, a, a important transition, particularly certain birthdays regarding age. In other cases, we see um, notation of transition in more general terms, like you know, celebrating in the fall rather than on your particular day of your birth. But what we see is the general populace didn't celebrate birthdays, um, and that that would develop, or particularly the celebration of a birthday with a cake. Um, while it may have been recognized, it didn't seem to have a big celebration involving a big baked good in front of it until much later. And that appears to be about between um, the 15th and 18th century in Germany. Now in Germany, this tradition is going to develop um, something known as Kinderfest, celebration of children's birthdays. And the cake itself was known as Geburtstag Orten, the thing to be eaten at a birthday. <laughs> um, so this cake is going to develop from a pretty humble beginning in Germany, a, a baked good, a, a simple sweet bread, into what we see. By the 18th century, we see it decorated with candles and all of the um, fine delicacies added to it as far as more sugar and various toppings of fruit and different things are added from, from these from these German traditions, which are going to be imported in the United States and spread throughout Europe. Um, but this idea of a birthday cake really is a very late tradition, and the celebration of an individual's birthday universally throughout the world seems to have caught on only in the last several centuries. So in the ancient world, it was not really many people didn't know their birthday, and many people celebrated, more importantly, were the dates of transition from, say, childhood to adulthood, and then from... Um, young adulthood to older adulthood, but the actual date being celebrated seemed to vary. Some traditions, if you were rich, they would do it, and in other traditions, they would ignore it. So again, birthdays are a pretty late phenomenon as far as in history, um, but doesn't mean you shouldn't celebrate them and um, have birthday dinner. And that's just another mad fact with Pat.